Hello and welcome back to the Demis Helen channel. In Serum 2, we can use the utility plugin to control our low end. So such as this respace that I'm designing here, it is inspired by a respace. It needs to have that huge density to it, that width to it, but you get problems in the low end. So I'm going to show you here using this visualizer that we're going to see the phasing in and out of the low end. So you can see there's tons of movement in there. We need a solid steady base that just sits straight in the middle. We don't want any movement like that. And I'm going to show you two ways that we can control this. So we need that really big full width, that juicy sound, but we don't want that low end moving around. So the first thing you can do is jump into the effects, open the utility, and you can see here we've got a mono bass switch and then a frequency control next to it. So we can use that to control the low end. We've also got the ability to flip the polarity as well if we need to, if we really are truly struggling with phase, but this one we don't need to, but we're gonna hit this one here. Just gonna open the filter as well. Now we can see that we've got a nice steady low end on this sound. It's still moving around a bit, but it's nice and steady. It's monoed that bass, but we've lost some of the weight in there. So what we're going to do is add in an EQ. Bring it back in. Voila. We've now got a respace with a controlled low end. And you can see there that we can now use that in a track there's no issues. Now, the second way that we can do this is to turn off these and we can use this, what we call remove fundamental. So I'm going to click on the oscillator here. You can see it picks it up. If you hold alt or option on your keyboard and drag it there, it'll make a direct copy. If you don't hold alt, it'll just move the oscillator. So if you just don't hold alt, it'll just do this. Bringing that back, if we just turn this one off, so now we've got an identical copy. I'm going to send this to the filter. What we want to do is remove the fundamental. So this is really easy to do on the wavetable. If you just click on this icon to get to the wavetable editor, and you can just remove this first harmonic by doing this, removing that bar. Now we've got a nice thin sound where it's got every harmonic but the fundamental of a saw wave. So you can see now there's no low end. There's movement, but there's no low end there. It's just that sort of like second harmonic onwards. And then all we have to do is add in the sub. You can see now the low end is present, but it's not moving. Now there is a little bit of movement in there, but we've got a solid sound to work with already. And we can just back it up utilizing the utility here. Mono bass, go back to here. And you can see it's nice and solid again. So there's two ways of doing this and you can get to it a lot easier by doing that fundamental uh, trick there that I just showed you. And then what this allows you to do, because you can see here we've got up to 71 hertz. Let's just push that to 100. So it's a nice roundish number, 102. We can increase the width of the rest of the sound now. So we can get that super wide sound, but we've got that super controlled low end as well. And again, if you want to boost that low end, and there we are, we have our controlled Reese using some tricks and tips of Serum 2. So if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and make sure you leave a comment if you want to ask any questions and then you'll get to see all of the new releases as well as when I'm going to release this pack. Hopefully in a week's time or so, this pack will be available for you to download and use in Serum 2. So thank you very much for watching. I'll look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Take care.